See if I can catch me here. Nice. There we go. Hit him with these. Yep. That combo is busted. Boom. Yep. Yer, listen, man. So today in Type Soul, I will be bringing you the best speed build for Soul Reapers. Now, I'm not gonna lie, bro. 40 speed, 25 Kendo is the best speed build in this game. You don't need Waterfall Dance, you don't need Spectre, and you don't need Time Cut. All these moves are trash. They take too much Rayatsu. If you want the best speed build, just go 40 speed. As always, if you want a build for every other race in the game just go ahead and leave a like it'll let me know but if you are any other race i do recommend just going 40 speed 25 kendo obviously you know your resurrection and your weapon just depends on what you want to use or you can just wait until my video comes out so i can show you man you know now i'm not gonna lie the skill box moves that you want depends on what shikai you have so for this particular build i like eviscerate so not a flow if you do have this build you definitely want an unseen blade core too this just makes this build way more strong if you can get one i highly recommend it like out of all the cores in this game I feel like this is the most important one just because of the fact that I think 40 speed, 25 kendo is the universal best build right now in this game. I'm gonna be honest. So I hope that, you know, the next ultra skill is kendo. So we see a lot more 40 kendo builds. Yeah, I said it. 40 kendo is trash right now. Flower passage is blockable. Nobody cares about flowing petals. Make the kendo ultra skill. So the first build I will be going over today is lightning with this build. Lightning is super good right now. People love to block the moves, so if they do block the moves, go ahead, Dar. If they block a Barak from you, they block a Blitz from you, you can just Eviscerate and Guard Break. That's the reason why I have Eviscerate in this kit. Eviscerate is super good. You can catch people off guard. If you use it at the right time, you can counter people too. For example, if they Serral Cores on, you can Eviscerate. If they Flower Passage, you can Eviscerate. It's just a super good move. Y'all already know why Sonata Flow is here. Probably one of the best, if not the best, the skill box in this game. This build is carried by the Odachi though. The Odachi is very overtuned right now. So stick to the end of the video if you want to see a build without the Odachi. Because I'm not sure how it's going to get nerfed on Friday or Saturday. I know it's going to get some nerfs, but I'm not sure how they are going to do it. So if they got the weapon, go ahead and check out the build that I'm going to use in the last part of this video. But right now, the combo with Odachi is very simple. The first two slashes are true, and whatever you use afterwards is going to be true too. So you just slash them for the first two hits, floating into a Rising Swallow. Like, that combo is so overtuned right now, right? With Lightning, it's just even better because what I can do is I can Barak onto his face into the crit and then Fast Fang or something, right? Lightning just gives you a better way to just gap close so that you can land your crits because this is just, it, it's busted, man. Look at that. And then after that, your C is instant, so you can go straight into a C after Sonata Flow. I recommend using the C like that. Every single time you land a Sonata Flow, just instant C. It's super hard to react to. You can't dodge it. You can only parry it. Yeah. My fault, Dar. Like, why are they just targeting me? What is this dick ride? I cut one. They're just riding. Hey, Tanner, can you heal? <laughs> Bro, like, what the now. fuck is this, Tanner? Dead, dead, yeah. dead. Give me help. I'm fighting someone. I got you. <laughs> Damn, look. I think this plays like such a fucking loser, bro. Oh, the one that you were fighting is Elo? No, it's just. Not uh, I'll, it's I'll, not fight, I'll fight. I'll um... fight the ink user. I'll fight the ink user. Go, get it right, Coke. Right. Okay, never mind. They switched out. Yeah, man. that's yeah. fine. We need to hold. I mean, I would love some help. I have no reality. You can get switched out twice, almost three times. So. Like. 
I knew you were gonna do that. Like you're so I predictable, buddy. Well, this. I'm getting hot. Yo, anti. I'm gonna. I'm on my way. I'm way. I'm, I'm here to me. Coming. Is it the ink user Hakata? Yes, he's on my dick. I think he's can't man on. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> visor is so like strong, man. Like my shit was literally just fucking nice. Oh, that was pretty good. Got him. I'm about to have Bankai soon. I'm gonna pressure shift. Go ahead, flower passes me, buddy. Yeah. Not, not fighting you, kid. But... I am out of the way. What the fuck? Like, nigga, get the f off my dick. Just flash step in the way. Like. Uh, save y'all pops for next round or like any round that because we're destroying these motherfuckers. Like I can't lie. I'm gonna pop though just for footage. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, I uh, yeah save y'all pops. We don't gotta pop here. I'll pop though. Hold on. Do I have enough? Oh, not yet. Fucking idiot. Oh my god. Oh my Can god. Can I pop? Hello? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to restart my sh Roblox after this, bro. My shit's on 60. Oh, there we go. Finally, shit. Don't know why I keep doing this shit. There we go. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. 
What? GG. The next build that I will be going over might possibly be the most broken build in this game right now. Okay. It's going to be 40 speed, 25 kendo wind. However, I do like ghost cleave better on wind because it's just like it's a gap closer. And the reason why you want this gap closer is because I can ghost cleave. This is going to be the combo, right? Ghost cleave, crit, crit, wind crown. You can land a third part here, right? Do this, right? Do this, flash fake out, and then you can go straight back to the crits, man. Like, buddy, this combo is so broken right now. Expect that to get nerfed on Friday. I'm not going to lie. If this combo does get nerfed, which it eventually will, I would recommend actually just going for Eviscerate instead of Ghost Cleave and then pairing Wind up with like a long sword instead. Wind itself is still good, right? If you know how to use it properly, so like if people keep blocking your moves dar just go ahead and just block right people are gonna block the c here people are gonna block the x right with ghost cleave i can just go ahead and get his posture high so that my next crit actually does guard break and then it's just free wind is all about manipulating your opponent's posture kind of like how shadow is so if you know how much posture each of your wind moves do and you know when your enemy's high posture you can get them so for example go ahead and block dar right if he blocks this he blocks a z from me my next ghost cleave feint is gonna guard break him and i can just go in that's one of the main reasons i do like ghost cleave on wind once you faint ghost cleave a bunch of times eventually you can just go ahead and use the normal version so if they want to just hold block go ahead and hold block dar the normal ghost cleave is going through guard as you can see so you can do a lot with wind ghost cleave got a quincy let's see what he has for us what fake news all right just go ahead and iframe all that. Ghost cleave him. See if I can get him in these. Nope. He has ghost cleave too. That's something I can pressure shift for later. Okay. See if I can catch me here. Nice. There we go. Hit him with these. Yep. That combo is busted. Boom. Yep. Go ahead and ghost cleave him here. There we go. When he ghost cleaves me, I'm just going to pressure shift it. So... I will be waiting. Okay. There we go. I'm going to pressure shift his ghost cleave here. There we go. Nice. Yeah, we just destroyed this guy. This build is broken. Go ahead and do that. He blocks. Good for us. Nope. Um... I can just go ahead and do this. I think I guard break him off of that. Okay. Nope. Yikes. There we go. Yeah, he's dead. There we go. Boom. And GG's. This guy said, how you're a mutt. How am I in plat? All right. Well, time to humble this guy. Okay. He's pretty much the same build as me, but the keto version, so gotta be careful of that. There we go. See so if I can get him here. Nice. There we go. There we go. Nice. Okay. Oh, I'm trash at this game. Huh. All right. Yikes. That's fine. Nice. 
There we go. Nice. Nice. Stun him here. There we go. And he's dead. Yep. I'm a mutt, right? The very last build that I have, and this is definitely not going to get patched by Friday unless the developers actually watch this video and somehow hate on me, bro. This is not overpowered at all. It's a strong build, but I don't think it should deserve nerf. It's beatable. But we have Berserk, okay? Eviscerate Sonata Flow as your skill boxes per usual, 40 speed, 25 kendo. Berserk is really nice right now, especially in this little, like, sustain meta because your C, it heals a lot. You want to make sure you get to 60 first, though, but it's super simple to get the 60 limit break nowadays like look at this i'm about to be 60 already right dar go ahead and just hit me just do a combo on me there we go right if i use the c move here it's gonna give me my health back it's gonna give me iframes during that animation but it's gonna make my shikai moves actually have hyper armor so go ahead and spam m1 on me dar i can get out of everything bro berserk is super nice right the z guard breaks a hold block the Z guard breaks, and then the fly towards him will guard break too. But Dar has insane posture right now. You're going to see in my ranked videos that the Z is going to guard break 99% of the time. I ain't going to lie. Dar is different for guarding that whole thing. I didn't even know you could guard the whole thing, but he was damn near 100% posture anyways. Also, be in mind, they did buff Berserk too. So if the last part of your X hits, it's going to stun for a long time. So anything you use afterwards is going to be true. And don't get me started in visor, bro. All right. If you use visor to get another heal, limit break with visor buffs, bro, you do so much damage. You're super tanky. I'm going to go ahead and limit break here. Go ahead and hit me now. Right. You stack this on with brace too. You become a tank monster, man. Berserk is just super good because you have two get out of free jail cards with your Z and X in limit break. As long as you have limit break up and you can get limit break consistently, you're super annoying to deal with, okay? Like that combo right there is true. For anybody who wants to know what limit break does, basically you just wanna fill up your bar to 60 by simply doing damage. And once it's at 60, you're gonna press C for the full heal like I showed you. This buff right here is gonna last for 60 seconds since you did fill the bar up to 60. And while it lasts, you're gonna get hyper armor skills, you're gonna get a damage buff, and you're gonna get a slight defense buff too. This guy is 29 and two right now. He is Hakata from the looks of it. If I get limit break, I pretty much just counter him. So, should be straight here. Okay. Okay. There we go. Flash fake on him here. Nice. Yikes. Yikes. There we go. We have a limit break now. He can't beat us. There we go. That's fine. We just go ahead and hyper armor out of it. There we go. That's fine. We hyper armor out of this too. All right. Activate mask here. This guy's not bad. He's gonna negation. Yikes. There we go. Negation? Nope.
I'm gonna have to Biako his uh, rush here. This guy's not bad. Yeah, he's not bad. There we go. He read that faint? No way. Okay, let's limit break again. Okay, brace here. That was good. There we go. Okay. Yikes. Oh wait, I can do this. I'm so stupid. Why didn't I thought about that? There we go. Okay. Yeah, this guy's not bad, boys. I'm gonna have to block his Shory. Let me break here. Yes! Okay. Come on, bro. Just die already, man. Why is this guy not dead yet? Yikes. Yikes, man. Come on, this has to be the kill here. Holy crap, man. That match was crazy, boys. I ain't even gonna lie, that was a crazy match. Quincy, I don't know what his build is. He is balanced, okay. Why is this server laggy? The world may never know. Oh my god, wait, hold on. I'm going crazy right now, boys. Oh my... The guard break of doom. It's real. He's gonna focal point here. I need you to focal point, buddy. What are you doing? Oh my god, that actually hit me? Yo, wait, chill. Let me, let me break all my health back here. That guard broke me? Hello? What is going on? Of course, he focal points at that time. Holy... Him. He doesn't really heal much from that though, so I'm fine by that, to be honest. Wow, okay. <laughs> okay. There we go. See if he guards this here. 
Nope. Let me activate mask here. And activate brace. He's gonna definitely use his team move, so I gotta be careful of that. There it is. I knew it. That's why I'm dropping fanged in time. Okay. There it is. Yeah, he's not healing anything from that, so I don't know why he keeps doing it. Probably for the defense, I guess, but I counter those. Thank you. Okay. Good parry. There we go. He should die in a bit here. I'm just going to limit break, get back to full health. Brace. Yeah, he's low health, so I can just do this. Oh, wow. I missed. Whatever. What if I ended them with the Saro? The Saro death combo? Hold up. Go ahead, flash that, buddy. I know you want to. There it is. Boom. My next eviscerate should just block break him. There we go. Yep, and you're dead. <laughs> GG's, boy. All right. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're new. As you can see, he thought I was Seiji. But yeah, Berserk is really nice. Fist of a guy like Rock Lee, leg weights all can't stop me. Drunken fist at top speed.